know, this is Colorful Brian, okay? And you know the source. And just, just tell us what you see in your eyes about her as a mayor. Just, uh, just uh, tell us about the source. Okay. So the mayor. We, we, we can even get, we can, let's, the let's mayor go closer. Her, yeah. herself. She's a good-looking mayor. She's got a, a nice shoulder. To me, she... What, what, what makes when, her good-looking? Because she's, she's a... When I look at her, I mean, she's gray, so therefore everybody li likes a gray horse. If I was being critiquing her, she's a little sleepy-eyed to me. She doesn't have a big, bright eye, and uh, I, I would like that better. But if you just look at her, she's well-balanced. Um, she's got a, a unique coloring. Even though she's gray, she's got white up to her knees. So, uh, you know, we're probably, she's probably going to have something with what we call chrome is white. That's how California chrome got his name. California chrome is, refers to the white. So the, we're probably going to get a, a, another chrome, Kentucky chrome or some kind of chrome, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> out of uh, Colorful Bride. She is, um, she's got muscle to her. She's, uh, you know, she, she's just a, a, a nice, solid mare. She's not... Uh, the beauty queen but she's above average and when we look at these horses we, you know we're looking at them not just standing still but you're looking at them moving and when you're judging their racing and, and how well they move and how they track in the front end all of those things come into uh come into play into what somebody might think is the value they put on the horse when they go to the auction to bid on the horse. And so can the groom walk, walk her a little bit? So we, yes. you, you can, you can yeah, show you us just what... walk down, walk down there and back. So it's too bad we don't have a telestrator. I could show you that. Um, if we go maybe on the other side, so uh, we can see. Or we can stand here for a second if you want to. Yeah. As they walk straight back, well, just walk straight. And so what are you seeing as, as she's walking? So she, she's walking and she is fairly correct. She, she's towing out a little bit, but not too much. And um, if she was like this pigeon toed or like that toed out, you, you wouldn't like that. She has pretty good bone. Her, she's got substantial, if that's little skinny bone, light bone, people worry about that. Any of those traits I just described, some horses have run with them. So that, you're talking about just like the genetics Rubik cube of ten thousands of genetic variables that could come together to make up California Chrome. Well, her when a horse runs or a human's an athlete, all of those things have to come together to make to make the athlete their mind, their heart, their will. It's the same with the horse. So, you know, you're trying to judge all of this. It might be a completely beautiful looking horse and be the slowest horse that uh, you can imagine or just not have the will to run. Maybe if it tried to run, it could run. So those are uh, things that the human, the human element, the trainer is trying to get out of the horse to make sure if it does have all the right things that, that, the, that the horse can do everything on the track that it's, God gave it the talent to do. She has a soft nose. <laughs> I think they all have soft noses. Yeah, they do. They, uh, <laughs> And she was a runner, right? She's yeah, she's a, she's a stakes winner. Um, and what does that mean, a stakes winner, for somebody that doesn't know about horse racing? So there's different criteria of races that give different value to horses. So when you start out in a maiden race, that means you haven't ever run before, or you haven't won a race. You might have run in one, but you haven't won it. So when you graduate from a maiden and you win a maiden race, you can't ever run in a maiden race again. And then you go to an allowance race. So they, there's a, a scale where you might get a little bit of weight uh, difference if you're not the same quality of a horse. And then the next one is stakes, where they actually put more money. If you win that race on a catalog page, when you go to buy the horse, you get bold black type. So people say the more bold black type, that's the more stakes winners, the more valuable the horse becomes. So colorful bride, has a brother appealing tail, which was a better racehorse than she was, won a grade two, which that's the second highest level race you can run in, and appealing tail ran second in a, in a grade one. So she has a good pedigree. Her, her, her brother ran good. The, the mother 
is not that old. She might produce more horses that could run good. And um, she she d did win stakes races, so that that's a positive for if I was ch trying to choose which mayor, her race record is a little bit better than um, than uh, 65 North. And, and this guy here, who's this guy? So this guy is by his now, which is another California horse like California Chrome that was born and raised in California. We, um, with Windstar Farm, brought his Tis now to Kentucky to stand. Tis now won two Breeders' Cup Classics. He's still the only horse ever to do that. Um, he um, he was a very determined. We call it game. And game means that when somebody looks you in the eye, you don't start to wilt. You just get that much more determination. So him and another great horse, Giants Causeway, the first Breeders' Cup that he won, were battling it down to the wire. And it started, the, the, the battle started, you know, halfway down the stretch all the way to the finish line. And Tis now no, no, noses him out. So Tis now has, um, has sired Dubai World Cup winners, and that means he's the father of uh, a horse called Colonel John that was a nice gr graded stakes winner, a filly called Folklore that was a champion. So he has a reputation for producing good horses. So can, can we tell anything by the way that this horse, this colorful bride, has given birth to this horse? Yes. Is there anything we can tell by the way he was born as to what might could be predicted for the future horse? Well, what I would say is that if she did the same thing again, she let the stallion dominate her. Yeah, he, this horse is bay. He's got white in his forehead like Tiz now. I was looking at him a minute ago. He's got good shoulder. I, he looks a lot like his father. And um, so I think that, um, you know, she may, this was her first fall, so the California Chrome will be the second. If she does the same thing, the foal will look more like Chrome than it does like her. Interesting. And so back to Colorful Bride, I mean, what's your bottom line on Colorful Bride? If you were to advise people on how they were going to make their vote, what are the pros and cons that you see to a vote for Colorful? That she is a stakes winner, that she's got a half brother that was a stakes winner, that uh, her, the way she's bred, she's by Munnings out of an Unbridled Song mare. Unbridled Song's mother is Trolley Song. And Trolley Song is a three quarter sister to Lucky Pulpit, which is the father of California Chrome. His mother's called Lucky Soap. Trolley Song and Lucky Soap are three quarter sisters. So that's the Rasmussen factor again, two females. And the matings that we did on 65 North and a Colorful Bride, both are done from the Rasmussen factor. So I, the line breeding to females tends to, in, in my opinion, give you a, a, better, a, better, a better chance at having a good horse. Well, let's go check out 65 North, and um, thank you for, for thank you guys for for for, for showing us colorful and uh, for full. But yeah, let's go check out 65 and say hello to 65. All uh, right, Napo, you got anything you want to tell him about that colt? You think he's gonna be any good? Yeah, I think it's nice filly. It's a little run, but uh, look good. Mm -hmm. I love her. Yeah, Does he run good out in the field, or is it yeah, followers and leader? So you can tell if they're the leaders of the pack or if they... Yeah, especially when they get divide, away from their moms. Like, he'll be weaned away from her probably in the next 20 days. Really? Yeah. So this horse is about how old? Six months or, or less or more? Yeah, he's about six, six months. Might be a little more. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.